Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Today I've got another beer for you from Tiny Rebel. And um, it's another really gimmicky kind of looking beer. Um, the last one I did was the Jam Donut Pale Ale. This one is their Peaches and Cream IPA. Creamy Peach IPA coming in at 5.5% ABV. Really bright can. It's a bright orange can. We've got a peach on legs. Looks a bit like a bottom. Um, stars, squirty cream cans. There's a little tiny rebel icon mascot dude. Um, peaches and cream has been splattered all over it. Really like the artwork on tiny rebel cans as ever. Loads of fun going on with that one. Um, yes, a little bit of taste um, or flavour texture, I'd say, on this one. Peach flavours from, you guessed it, peaches. Um, creaminess comes from, you guessed it, lactose. And the IPA from, you guessed it, the bucket loads of Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe. Nice. Um, ingredients, water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, yeast, oats, lactose or milk in brackets there. And peach puree. So it sounds like a peachy, creamy IPA. So let's get this one out. Uh, what's the date on this one? It's, ooh, it's quite a fresh one. That's good to September of next year. So yeah. It's, uh, what did I say? It did say the percentage, didn't I? 5.5% on this Tiny Rebel Peaches and Cream IPA. Loads of peaches on the aroma straight away. And I'll tell you what, that's pouring. It looks, the way it's been described on the can, that looks like a creamy peach-coloured drink. There's a tiny little bit left in there. Look at that. That is a good one to two finger fluffy white head. Oh, the, the picture on the camera doesn't do it justice. It's a proper peachy looking coloured beer. It's really quite bright to the naked eye. On the camera it looks a little bit duller, unfortunately. Um, that looks lovely. It's um, very hazy. You're not seeing anything through that. Really hazy looking IPA. Let's get the can up there so we can see the artwork. Really hazy looking IPA. It looks lovely. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's getting aroma. Lots of peach. Straight away, loads of peach. It smells like peaches and cream. You're getting that sort of vanilla-y, lactose, milky aroma with the peaches. And you're getting the citra hops are coming through as well. Oh, it smells delicious. Already, I'm so much more into this one than I was their last one, that jam donut one. That smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's lovely. You're getting a big hit of those citra hops but in there there's, there's that peach there is a peachy sweetness to it not overly sweet though and there's a creamy mouth texture to it as well not overly thick don't get me wrong it's very drinkable it's very light it tastes very fresh it's very drinkable but there is a slight that lactose that milky texture is there it's subtle but it's there oh and it it goes with that peachy and citra hop is, is very prominent on this one. Oh, this is really good, really good. Oh. Initially, there's almost like that kind of grapefruity. Um, Almost slight bit of citrus flavour on the sweetness. But it's very quick. There's that initial grapefruit hit and then those peaches come in. Big peachy flavour. And the cream with it, it has a creamy, smooth, slight milky uh, texture and flavour the whole way through.
and very subtle hoppiness at the back end, very subtle hoppy bitterness at the back end. Nothing major, but it's beautifully balanced. It's a beautifully rounded, tasty IPA, this. This is great. This is really good, enjoying this. Um, I've not heard of a, a, a creamy peach IPA before. I don't know of any other breweries that have ever done it. If you've had one before, um, please feel free to get in touch and let me know and point me in that direction because I'm all in on this one. This is lovely. Um, yeah, there's that initial grapefruit sweetness that fades very quickly and then it's all peach and all cream. Lovely mouthfeel, lovely flavours. They combine nicely. The peach and cream is definitely there. Very slight hoppy bitterness at the back end. Nothing major. sweetness peaches and cream it's there now peaches and cream peaches and cream and then there's that subtle hoppiness from the uh the citra what else is it mosaic and simcoe hops i love anything with citra hops in it and you're really getting that a bite of that as well in it that is so tasty that is really nice one more mm. I really like that. I can imagine that not being everyone's cup of tea. Uh, traditional IPA drinkers might not like this one too much. Um, but it's very fruity. There is that nice peach and cream combination throughout in the flavour. They've got that. They've done that really well. And there's a very subtle hoppiness, but a very tasty hoppiness, and it makes you want to come back. Um, Makes you want to come back to it straight away. It's very drinkable, really refreshing. At 5.5% ABV. Um, getting the slightest bit of a boozy kick, but nothing major. Um, but all in all, that's a really nice IPA. They've done well there with that one, Tiny Rebel. Much better than the Jam Donut one, in my opinion. Um, give it a score. It is a bit of a gimmicky beer. Um... I, I, this came in my beer 52 box, my latest one. Um, so I, I can't direct you to any stores, unfortunately, to find it. Um, either that, you could probably go to a Tiny Rebel website and they'll probably let you know where you might be able to get it. Uh, but yeah, but this was in my beer 52 box, so I can't tell you where to go and get it and how much it might cost, because I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's another lovely beer from Tiny Rebel. Um, Peaches and Cream IPA, I'm going to give that. Bearing in mind, it is a bit of a gimmicky beer. Might not be everyone's cup of tea. You might not always be in the mood for something like this, but the t the flavours are wonderful, and um, I'm going to give that a solid eight out of ten. I think, um, yeah, eight out of ten for Tiny Rebels Peaches and Cream IPA. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, please keep subscribing if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it, and um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one, guys. Till then, take care.